Okay, so we're back, and uh, just to, to get everyone up to speed here on what's going on, um, I grinded some more last night, okay, and just so everyone knows, I actually, if I want to show you all my familiars, I actually caught a new familiar, who's some kind of a gear dude, but also I've been leveling everybody up. I haven't metamorphosized him because I think he still has one more ability he needs to learn. Let's double check that. Oh, you know what? He learned it. So we can actually metamorphosize him right now. Okay, let's do that. Uh, but in addition to metamorphosizing him, I also... He's going to turn into a Burly Hurley. Hmm. I also bought them all the best equipment because I was grinding last night. I had enough money to buy the best equipment for everyone. So everyone's pretty much maxed out with weapons and armor and such from this area. Cool. Everyone else I think is fine. No one's had to hit the ability to go to their final forms yet. I don't know when that actually happens or if you can even do it yet. Alright, so Sling Stone and Rolling Stone. And it looks like once he hits higher levels, he'll learn a bunch more stuff. Okay, so now, I just want to explain one more thing that happened last night. I accidentally walked over to the area where the next quest is, and all it did was a very short cutscene. So just to explain and get everyone up to speed, if you remember, we need to make the Fairy Godmother laugh. So we went to the comedy stage, and everyone there was, was unfunny. Nobody there was funny at all. And what I found out was, apparently he says, Oh no, they're broken hearted. Someone stole their artistic quality, so I'm supposed to find artistic uh, pieces of heart in this town and give it to them, okay? So that's where we're left off. Alright, let's talk to this guy. How do I ever end up in this nest of gnomes? Who are you calling gnomes, you cheeky little flapper? God, how come you give a gull of fright? How come you can understand me? Well, never mind. It's just nice to have someone to unburden myself to. Here, take this. One good turn deserves another, eh? Look at that, he gave me the levitate spell. <clears throat> Thanks. It's a page from the Wizard's Companion for a spell called Levitate. Why would a seagull be carrying that? A spell that makes you float. It's obvious, ain't it? He likes a bit of light or eating. Oh my god. That was awful. He says, hey, I need a piece of art or two. Do you have any? Long time no see, drippy boy. No pieces of art around by here, man. Ain't that much to laugh about lately, see? How come? What's up? I got these horns on my head, and lately they've been hell of long, and now they're getting proper heavy, killing my neck. This sounds like a job for a spellcasting superhero such as your fine self. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? We want rejuvenate, maybe? What the fuck do I use? Levitate? What? Crikey, feels like the weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Horns, they feel like more flipping feathers. So the levitate spell immediately is used here. I got a piece of art. Okay, that was weird. Alright. Trippy boy, how long's it been? This is, uh, practically unheard of. Uh, do you have any pieces of art? She says, I've been feeling the cold so bad lately, I've not had a chance to do much but shiver. Alright, can we help her out with a quick spell? Fireball. Huh. Oh, uh, I'm a flipping fire, what'd you do that for? Hang on, I'm not cold anymore. I'm lovely and toasty, in fact. Praiseworthy. Here, this is what you were after? That's it, Tidy, we'll have it. So I set her on fire, and she gives me a piece of art. What the hell? Really? She was looking to be set on fire, okay. All right, there's another dude right over here. This guy. All right, they're open. I said, do you have any pieces of art? Do you have any decent food I can have? The stuff here they serve is rubbish. That's not very nice, is it? Can't blame you, mind. I've eaten here. Hang on, Ollie boy. Can you whip something up with your magic? What secret ingredient? 
Aha! Okay, I gave him some good food, and he gave me a piece of art. Sweet. Okay. So we're getting there. Oh, one of these guys. Ah. Let's see now. What's on the specials board today? Flip. What's wrong? Er, what the heck is that smell, man? That'd be the special, I reckon. Sausage and custard omelet. Gee, that sounds interesting. You can say that. Yeah, it's going to be a toughie. Listen to me. It's not my style. Bring it on, man. That's what I meant to say. Oh, you're going to try it? Of course I am. There ain't a special I haven't tried yet. And there have been some proper weird ones and all. Huh. So now that's what I call brave. He's got courage. All right, so we're going to take his courage. Oops. Okay. So right now we have kindness and we have courage. Actually, no. Isn't that resilience, the other one? I think the other one's resilience. Okay, we got a guy walking away. Who the hell's that? Get back here. Hey, you got a minute? Nah, man, I ain't. I got homework to do, ain't it? Homework? Pop! Pull the other one. Listen, you got any pieces of art? Nah, man, I ain't. And I got homework on it. So I'm supposed to grow these seeds by here, but they ain't so much as sprouting. Alright, so you know what we gotta do. Quick and grow. Flip, mon. Look at that, mon. Flew up. They did amazing. That's my homework done, mon. Tidy. To mon. You see me right in bed and ear bashing off ma'am. Jesus. I can barely read this. It's barely English. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got another guy. It's the one on the left. I ain't gonna let my appetite get the better of me. I can't resist it. Just gotta be strong. What's wrong? It seemed kind of tense. It's all right, man. Just having a little bet with my buddy. What kind of bet? Uh, let's see how long I can go without eating one of my beloved lard pies. A test of willpower. Restraint. I think I already have restraint, though. Yeah, I already have restraint. Alright, so I know someone else who has it now, at least. You're still going, are you? Of course I am, Mon. There's life in the old fairy yet. Can I help you with something, Drippy Boy? As a matter of fact, you got any pieces of art going begging? How am I supposed to know? My cleaners run off and I can't find flipping anything and this floor ain't gonna sweep itself. Oh, it's the broom spell. Aha. Alright, so that's gonna allow him to give me a piece of art, I'm sure. Okay. Right around the corner here. At the weapons store. This guy's got something. Okay, you have any pieces of art? He's pressing flowers right now. Because we can't let traditional fairy handicrafts like that die out. Don't worry, Ali Boy's probably got just a spell to help you. Flowers? I don't know. Burden weighs down certain objects. Ah. Okay. So I got a piece of art. It's not all though, there's still two more. Okay. You have any pieces of art? I don't have time for that right now. I can't get this flipping lid open. Pop this jar open for our friend. Spring lock. <laughs> okay. Give me a piece of art. Looks like there's one more. Roll up, roll up. Could you take us for the grand tour of man by here? Must be this guy. Okay. Okay, pieces of art. I can't help you because I just broke in this giant jar. Who'd have thought I could be so clumsy? Let's see if we can fix it. 
There we go, rejuvenate. Alright, we got them all. That's a full complement of eight pieces of art. Let's go get this care package over to Smiley's and Surly and bring the light of laughter back to their miserable lives. They're probably at the Cavity Club. Okay. So you're gonna see it's just a stage. I accidentally wandered over here by accident. Which caused a cutscene to happen, and these guys weren't having any fun. See, this guy is looking at him. He's asleep. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's give them back these pieces of art and have them be, uh, getting their comedy back. 